on guys Danny back here with the regular guy garage just wanted to go over a couple things with the f-body Camaro since it's been tuned it has been running amazing uh, I can't say enough good things about the tune that I got on this car that Carl up down in competition auto did on it uh, if you guys have been following the build at all in the past I said that there was a uh, problem with the transmission shifting from park to drive where the car would lurch really hard um, into gear and that problem is honestly all but gone i haven't had an issue with it since the tune one thing that uh, was recommended to me was putting a new stall converter in the car right now it's the stock stall converter which i think is around 1800 definitely this car i think could definitely benefit from getting either probably a 32 or 3600 stall converter so that's going to be something i'm going to look at to uh, for the future i think even just drivability wise because sometimes when i'm driving around town I mean, it feels like the converter is so tight down low that it kind of just wants to buck the car forward. So that'll be something that I end up doing in the future. So typically when you install a cam, you want to raise the RPM idle. Uh, so Carl did that within the tune and actually, I think it still, it still sounds pretty good. It doesn't really chunk as much like it did when the R RPM was much lower. However, the RPM needed to be raised and it does, it still sounds great. <laughs> So another thing I want to do, just to kind of go through the whole build again. Uh, there, are, all the videos are in there in the playlist titled um, "It's F Body Project" or something like that. But just for if it's your first time seeing the video to see what I actually went through to fix this car and why there's a build series around it, I'll just go ahead and highlight all those things for you now. So first thing that I ended up doing was, okay, for those who don't know, this car I bought had a um, blown engine. Uh, pulled the engine out from the bottom of the car right here in my driveway which is now where my Whipple supercharged 2017 Camaro sits so I went ahead pulled the engine out from the bottom I had to jack the whole front of the car up uh, slid the whole drivetrain out being a uh, well, engine and transmission slid those out uh, had to get rid of had to trash the old the LS1 block the aluminum block because it actually broke the rod that ended up breaking on it, tore up the whole inside of the block, and the block wasn't usable anymore. So, had to go ahead and get a new block. Not a huge deal, I went with a uh, Gen 3 Iron Block LS, which was a, it's the 4.8, 5.3 block, and they bored it out to a 5.7. I got it from Summit Racing. So I went ahead and used that. I got a set of Molly pistons and scat rods from Texas Speed and Performance. I hand built the engine, so, so I hand filed all the piston rings gapped them enough to where we can throw some extra heat into the engine, whether it be nitrous or boost. I would like to do nitrous. After that, we grabbed a, I grabbed a, just kind of a mild cam. It is a 525-525 lift, uh, 110 lobe separation angle cam. I forget what the duration is. I think it's like mid 220s or 230s. Um, but it's made by, it's actually like uh, one of Summit Racing's cams, it's a Pro LS cam. And honestly, I mean, I think it's, I like the sound of it and I think it gives enough power. Aside from that, the car came with all these um, MS, MSD uh, plug wires and stuff. And uh, I came with it, I, I got a set of SLP long tube headers. I don't know if they're for this style car, uh, but I mean, they fit. They fit the LS engine and the exhaust shop went ahead and made them fit. Aside from that, entire engine is stock LS1. So heads, they're still the 241 heads. I just had them refreshed. Uh, not, so nothing special going on there. I do have the LS6 valve springs, which I did in one of the last videos. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just a stock LS1 intake. I deleted the air pump. Um, yeah. Aside from the cam and long tubes, this is completely stock LS1 that came off came off of it. Obviously the rods and pistons are going to help us when we go to throw a lot of power at it, which is why I went with them. I had a few comments on the, you know, guys giving power guesses to one of my Instagram posts and most of them were pretty close to 400 and I would have loved to see 400 to the wheels. Um, if you guys haven't seen the last video, the dyno pull, yeah, we're in the low, not low threes, mid threes, I guess 330, lower 300 pull horsepower range, 336 uh, with like 338 torque. Um, but like I said, I mean, I'm happy with that. Uh, it's a good starting point more so daily driven car so it's getting its job uh, it's 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 doing its job right now and it's doing a heck uh, 
And honestly, everything's going great. And honestly, I know this is what everybody wants to see anyway. So like I said, I know this is what everybody wants to see. I know this is going to be the money maker for the channel. The Whipple Supercharged 2017 Camaro SS1LE. Now the reason why I didn't, I could have just, instead of putting money into an F-Body, started throwing money at this thing, you know, built the engine that I wanted to and eventually will, but as much as I know YouTube wants to see it, as much as I love doing the YouTube stuff, I also kind of like just tinkering with stuff, so I mean I'm kind of doing my own thing. Uh, and you know, if it doesn't get tons and tons of views, I mean, so be it. I do every, I do all this stuff because one, you know, one I enjoy it, and I know there's a lot of people out there that enjoy it as well. Now that the F body is running as good as it is, um, don't mind my whining child over here. What? That is um, another member of the family. It's been around for a little while. Ted Theodore Logan. For those who get the reference, showing my age a little bit here. He's a he's a crybaby, but he's not a bad, not a bad pet. He just wants to be pet. Actually, he wants to go inside and mess around with the AC. All right, now they got the crying dog inside. In case you haven't seen it in the past videos, the plan for this car to do right here is pistons, camshaft, heads, probably gonna have to do fuel system also um, I need to still do I need to still do a little bit of research and see what power levels I can actually get out of the stock fuel system but fuel system will probably it's more than likely gonna come um, I can probably get away with stock for a little while because we don't have the 85 here uh, or well it's it's like an hour or so away and I'm not about to drive that far so we will be running the car on 93 but I am to the point where I can start buying parts for this too. Um, I didn't mention long tubes, but long tubes is going to be on there. That might actually be the very next mods will probably be long tubes and a Rotofab air intake. So we'll see what kind of power numbers we can get out of that. All right. So while the sun is still while the sun's going down, you can kind of still see me. I want to give a shout out to a few channels and some channels that you guys should definitely check out, especially if you're into seeing. Uh, well, so number one on the list. He's got more followers than me. Huge Fox Body guy. His name's Brutal Vlogs. His YouTube channel is called Brutal. B R E W T L. And what this dude does is he focuses his channel mainly on Fox Bodies. And for those who've been around for a while, you guys know that I'm a big Fox Body guy. I built that 86 Fox Body. I've had tons of Fox Bodies in the past. I was a huge Mustang guy. Always have been, probably always will be. He also has an 03, I believe it's an 03, maybe it's an 04 Cobra with a Kenny Bell on it, which, I mean, that Kenny Bell just looks sweet under there. But definitely go check him out if you don't follow him already. Dude puts out great content. He's actually gotten into like a sponsorship kind of with LMR, which, I mean, absolutely, absolutely smarter than get in there with him. Let's go ahead and check him out. Another guy I want to shout out, pretty small channel, but he's actually out there doing a lot. Another guy, with a Whipple Supercharged Camaro. His channel is a tactical garage. His name's Rob. He's got a black sixth gen Camaro with a Whipple Supercharger, putting down really good power. And he's really, really close to the tens. He does some drag racing and stuff. But he's actually got a lot of how-to stuff on there too. I actually watched a couple of his videos to familiarize myself with the Whipple setup before I did the supercharger on my car. He recently just did an LT4 fuel system on his sixth gen Camaro. Really smart guy, really down to earth, super humble, and that's the kind of people that I love to follow. Plus he's out there getting out, he's out there putting in work with that 6th gen. So definitely check him out, get his subscribers up, he absolutely deserves them. Alright guys, so those are just a couple relatively small channels that I follow. Just helping them get their name out there, that, that'll definitely help their channel grow, but honestly these guys are deserving. I, I, I believe they make great videos, so go ahead and give them a shout. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there, like I said, if you... If you do like the video, be sure to give it a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. 
Be able to follow my Instagram at regularguygarage. As always, take care. We'll see you on the next one.